What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and with the major changes and hype around the item, I thought I'd take a look at the new Black Cleaver. Let's get started. Starting off with the basics, the item itself gives 400 health, 40 attack damage, 20% cooldown reduction, and has two passives. The first passive shreds the armor of your target by 5% whenever you deal physical damage to them, stacking up to 6 times. That means spells can proc that passive as well. And the new added passive, that you now get 20 movement speed every time you deal physical damage, and you get 60 movement speed for 2 seconds on killer assist, or 30 movement speed if you're a ranged champion. Now, on paper, the item is pretty strong. It's completely gold efficient without the passives, and in a tank meta, the armor shred is quite powerful. In addition, it has a nice build path consisting of cheap parts, which makes it a nice item to buy in the laning phase. And the stats are pretty great too, as the health, AD, and CDR makes it a perfect item for any AD caster. Now compared to last patch, Black Cleaver has had the health and CDR on it doubled, at the cost of giving up the flat armor pen and lowering the attack damage on it by 10. And honestly, this was a really nice change, since the main problem with building Black Cleaver before is that sometimes it would make you super squishy, and as a bruiser, spending so much gold on an item that only gave you 200 health in tank stats was most of the time completely not worth it. So the added health now is really significant. And in addition, bruisers and tanks tend to have a really hard time itemizing for cooldown reduction. So now Black Cleaver is a great option for those kinds of champions. And so overall, I think it's definitely a really strong item. However, it does have a hard time fitting into the AD carry builds since it doesn't give enough raw offensive stats, so it's not one of the best items for them, and it's more of a slightly tanky utility item, kind of comparable to something like Bloodthirster with a little bit less damage and a little bit more tankiness, so you could definitely build it on AD carries, just likely as a 4th or 5th item. Now, the new Black Cleaver actually has some big potential to influence the meta by a pretty reasonable amount. It's probably not going to change the tank meta, and it's definitely not as impactful as Cinderhulk, but I think a large amount of champions will actually rise up simply due to this item. Black Cleaver has always been this kind of utility AD caster item that the game was, most of the time, really missing, and now that it gives a lot of health and is amazing for bruisers, champions who can reliably build this in their build path have gotten a really big buff now due to how much they can benefit from Black Cleaver. I'm talking champions like Wukong and Xin Zhao, bruisers who bring a lot of utility to a game in exchange for raw power. Their utility often gets outclassed due to not being able to make up for just the raw power of some of the other bruiser junglers like Vi and Lee Sin. Now whether or not those champions will be played jungle is a different story, but this Black Cleaver item gives a lot of power to 80 bruisers and 80 casters with the changes, and the tankiness and utility that the item brings to kits just does so much and will really help out quite a lot of unpopular champions right now. And I mean the stats are there, Wukong and Xin Zhao's win rates have both gone up by a pretty decent amount after that last patch, as did a few other champions who benefit from Black Cleaver really well. I think we can expect to see these kinds of champions a lot more now, and so the item has opened a pretty reasonably sized window for bruisers and AD casters to succeed in this tank meta, which is awesome. Anyways, my name is Jeremy, and that's for my video on the new Black Cleaver. Hey guys, it's me Jeremy. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure to hit that like button so I can tell, and if you're interested, definitely check me out on all the socials, of which you can see over there. And if you really enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for some more awesome content in the future, as well as you can check out some of my other videos up here and over there. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.